remember, use your knives. One shot will have the army garrison down on us. They pick on us, kid. I don't know, unless it was to stop us from seeing Colonel Billings tonight. Well, they didn't stop us, but they sure make us a little bit late. Come in, kid. I hope we didn't keep you waiting too long, Colonel. Not at all. Mr. Brainerd just got here himself. Mr. Brainerd, this is Kit Carson. How do you do, Mr. Carson? And, uh, Mr. Brainerd, this is El Toro. Wherever you find Kit Carson, El Toro won't be far away. See, like El Buen Hombre del Viernes, the one who worked for Don Robinson de Caruso. You ever read the book, senor? I'm afraid I haven't. Well, gentlemen, let's get down to business. Sit down, won't you? El Toro. I needn't tell you, gentlemen, how badly the army needs remounts at this time. Brainerd tells me there's a herd of over a thousand wild horses in the back country around here. It's vital to General Fremont's plans that these horses be procured for the military immediately. But those horses are on Indian land, sir. That's right, Kit. So technically, they belong to the Indians. The success of the mission will depend on your ability to negotiate with Chief Greywolf. Oh, I'm acquainted with Chief Greywolf. Good. That should speed up things. Why all the negotiation, Colonel? In the past, when the Army needed horses, we just took them. Unfortunately, we can't rectify the past, but we can assure ourselves a better future. The Army is in a position to buy those horses from the Indians. And how much ahead? Thirty dollars delivered in the corrals at the Palo Remount station. A thousand head will amount to thirty thousand dollars. That's right. I'm only the purchasing agent for the Army. It's none of my business how the money is spent. As long as the Army gets horses. Well, that's right, Mr. Brainerd. But I can't help thinking how many illegal rifles the Indians could purchase with $30,000. You're building up for a big Indian war, Colonel. On the contrary, I think we'll be avoiding trouble. You'll be in charge of things, Kit. I'll see that the money is placed in your hands before you leave. Good. I'll leave from headquarters building at 9 in the morning. I'll be there. Kit, I've been thinking. Only if those no-good sons of pistolas who jump on us tonight knew about the money and think maybe we already had it. What's this? Nothing, Colonel. Three men attacked on the way over. Probably common thieves out to rob you. I don't think so. I think they were given orders to kill us. It's good they didn't, or maybe I would have had to negotiate with the Indians all along. Kit and I changed their minds. Good night, Colonel. Good night, boys. And good luck. See you in the morning, Brainerd. Good night. Why didn't you stop him from seeing the colonel? It would have been easy if we could have used our guns. Well, never mind that now. I'm leaving with Carson and El Toro for the fellow Remont station in the morning. You men leave tonight. Your job will be to see that Carson and Grey Wolf don't get together for a talk. Now, here's what to do the minute you reach the Pala country. Now we're in the Pala country, all right. Take a look at that. If that's a sample of the remounts the Army's going to get, General Fremont's cavalry is going to be in great shape, you can bet. station. Come on.
check inside. No, no, please, I give up. In a second, I will know whether or not you missed. Oh, I thought you were one of those Indians. Quite evidently, you're a very bad shot and a good thing. I'm so glad. I'm glad too. Hey, you're a very pretty muchacha. Do you live here all alone? I live here with my grandfather. Grandfather! Grandfather! He'll be all right. Let's get him inside and remove the arrow. Oh. What happened? Help Toro. I want to follow those Indians. If they get safe, they may ambush you. There isn't an Indian alive who can do that to Kit Carson. Come, Senor Bennett. We'll take him real careful, easy like inside. understand it. In all the years I've been here in charge of this here remount station, I ain't never had no trouble before with the engines. Ain't had no truck with them. Ain't had no trouble with them either. Did you get a good look at them? See what tribe they were? Funny thing. Didn't get too good a look at any of them. But they must be Gray Wolf's tribe. Ain't any other engines around these parts. We didn't even know they were around until we smelled some smoke and heard them hooping and hollering. Then they started shooting in at us. I stepped outside to get a better shot at them, and that's when I got mine. Did you get a good look at them, miss? Not a very good one. They were too far away. If El Toro had have been here, he would have protected you. For you, I would give my life. How about settling for a few minutes of it? Drawing some dishes? Do you know why the Indians attacked you? I can't figure it. Do the Indians know yet that the army wants their horses? Is that what you fellas are here for? We need a thousand head. Well, come to think of it, if the Indians got wind you was here on planning to steal their horses, they'd be mighty set on keeping you from it. Then maybe the Indians coming back. Kit, why didn't you tell us it was you? I was beginning to think the Indians had scalped you. If I hadn't turned back when it got dark, they probably would have. How you doing? <laughs> As far as I'm concerned, an engine arrow is just another splinter. Grandfather's worse than a child when it comes to making him behave. I'm glad to see you doing so well. What did you learn about them engines? Tell me, Grey Wolf's people ever steal any of your horses or the armies or anybody else's that you know of? Ain't never had no trouble with them before until today. Why do you ask that question? The trail I was following wasn't made by Indian ponies. The horses wore iron shoes. Well, that doesn't prove anything. As you said, they probably stole them. And another thing. They were riding away from Grey Wolf's village, not taught it. Maybe they was renegade engines, Mr. Carson, and no part of Grey Wolf's tribe. Maybe. Just a coyote calling to his little sweetheart. Unless a coyote has a hoot owl for a sweetheart. Those are Indians. Get me my gun, honey. They've come back. Kid, look. It's a 
message. Turn up the light. What does it say? Three broken arrows. In Grey Wolf's language, that's picture writing for a warning for us to go away. Three arrows, three people. That must mean us. Grey Wolf is out there. I'm going to have a talk with him and see what this is all about. I go with you. Stay here. Don't let anybody leave. Senorita, if you're scared, come here and I'll hold your hand. What did you say, Toro? I said, if you're scared, I'll hold your hand. But I'm not scared, Toro. If you're not? Well, Jim, the Christmas trees, I am. Maybe you better hold my hand. I'm going out there and see what's going on. No, senor. Kid said nobody was to leave here. How do we know something hasn't happened to him? Gee, wow, well, that fella don't listen to nobody. as enemies or talk as friends? We talk, but not as friends. You know white men go. Leave my people in peace. How can you talk of peace when three of your braves attack the Remont station today? My people no attack. Me come with warning message tonight. You go. Go away. Why did you put that warning message on the door of the station? Today three white men come. They raid small teepee village. They say they come back with many more men and guns if Indians don't give them all the wild horses. The station was raided by three men today who wanted to make it look like an Indian attack. I came to buy those horses from you, Grey Wolf, not steal them. Look out! Grey Wolf, wait! Not you fool. I came along just in time, Carson. That Indian. That Indian was Chief Grey Wolf. Those Indians have been spooked enough by renegade white men without you adding to it. I'm sorry. How'd I know I wasn't saving your life? From here, it looked like he had you covered. I hope it hasn't ruined our chances to negotiate for those horses. I will know tomorrow. This is the way Indians send messages. No wonder they lose so many battles. Keep trying, Toro. Sometimes it takes quite a while to get an answer. <coughs> Chihuahua, I used the wrong word. Kit, I lose my heart to that senorita best. Maybe her grandpapa got himself shot with one of those Indio arrows. But that Senor Cuba shoot one of his arrows straighter than any Indian. It went right in here and it's still sticking. Kit. Where are you? He's gone. Any reply yet? Not yet. Getting up and around again, huh? <laughs> Can't keep a good man down, Mr. Carson. I'm so afraid he'll start that wound of bleeding again. Do you have a good safe place where I can keep a valuable money belt? There ain't nothing around here. A party couldn't break into it if they wanted to bad enough. But, uh, but there's a heap of places where you could hide it. Well, I'd rather do that than carry this much money. Oh, uh, well, honey, uh, show Mr. Carson that place where I keep my recipe for making blackberry cordial. <laughs> 
Got a lot of other papers stowed away there in a the box. But there ain't nobody going to find them unless one of us showed them. Sorrow's getting some answers to his smoke signals. I'll be right out. Grandpa, there's hiding places in the back room. Either that's a message or someone's having lots of trouble cooking his dinner. That's Grey Wolf, all right. He wants the powwow. I wouldn't trust him after last night. I'm surprised he's willing to trust us. Let's go. Hasta luego, señorita. Bye. Bye. Can he keep up? I have a feeling he lost us on purpose. Maybe he's too scared of the Indios, huh? I don't know. There's a lot about Mr. Brain that I can't figure out. Well, we can't worry about him now. Let's go. Carson and El Toro headed for a powwow with Grey Wolf. Think you can stampede those horses like we planned? If this don't stampede them, nothing will. You and Dixon take care of that. Alec, you come back with me to the Remont station. Why there? A little matter of picking up $30,000. What's your move, Grandpa? You darn tootin' it's my move, and I'm going to teach you a lesson, young lady. <laughs> you learn too fast. <laughs> well, if it ain't Mr. Brainerd back so soon. Well, where's Kit Carson and El Toro? They went on. They sent me back for that money. Well, of course you can have it, Mr. Brainerd. Mr. Carson give you a note, didn't he? <laughs> Why should he do that? My word's good enough, isn't it? Afraid that won't do, Mr. Brainerd. I give Mr. Carson my word that money'd be safe. And safe it's gonna be, less than I hear different from him. I'm afraid you'll never hear from Carson or El Toro again. Seems they're both going to be trampled to death by a stampede of wild horses. Maybe a bunch of thieving Indians along with them. Alec. No! Let go of me! Don't tell the sidewinder, Bess. Don't. Again, I'll get the money for you. Stay here. What makes you think you can get away with it? That's U.S. Army money. They'll hound you and trail you and run you down just as sure as I'm sitting here. That there money's to buy horses with. As soon as them remounts don't show up, the government will start wondering what's become of it. They'll start making inquiries. Then what? The Army will get the horses, old man. I'll see to that. The only difference is the Indians won't get paid. What's more, I hope anybody around to prove the Indians didn't get paid. If you think me and Bess will keep our mouths shut about this, you've got another thing coming. Let me tell you right now. As I was saying, there won't be anybody around. Maybe you can do a better job than you did yesterday with that bow and arrow. You are an angel, and El Toro is there than anything. Toro, Kit's in danger. No, senorita. Kit and me guess right. It is you who are in the danger. That's why I came back. Toro, listen to me. Brainerd is going to try and stampede the wild horses. Stampede? Kit and those Indians will be right in the way. Don't worry about him. He ain't going to cause anybody any trouble.
1,000 head of horses, Grey Wolf. Deliver to the Remont Station corrals. Your tribe will be well off. It'll be as you say, Kid Carson. But what of those who would destroy the villages of my people? We will find out who they are and they will be punished. My brave said two evil white men work with much gunpowder on mountain. Gunpowder? Let's see what they're up to. Oh. <laughs> Hurry up and light that thing. Out there in the open, Grey Wolf. Look. Drain it. Golly smoke, look what happened to him. $30,000 was recovered, Colonel, and subsequently paid to Grey Wolf's people for delivering the horses. Mark Brainerd was a traitor to his country. He deserved what he got. The horses are in the corrals, and the Bronkbusters can start work anytime. Now, you've done a fine job, Kit. I want to thank both you and El Toro. Oh, by the way, uh, where is El Toro? Why didn't he come back with you? Believe it or not, Colonel, El Toro is learning a new game. Checkers. Checkers? Oh, Senorita, what about a walk in the moonlight? Not until you've won a game, Toro. You bet. And look. I win. Now we can walk in the moonlight. <laughs> 